Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the gorgeous mountains of northern Azerbaijan. And today is going to be an incredible day of food. We're actually starting with a huge traditional Azerbaijani breakfast. It's going to be a massive spread. And then later we'll be driving into the mountains. We'll actually be hiking for about an hour and a half to a remote village where a local family has invited us for lunch. They'll be cooking rice. They'll be cooking something called pip dolma, which is a chopped meat dolma that is a specialty in the mountain in their region. It's going to be an incredible day of food and culture in Azerbaijan. And I can't wait to share everything with you coming up right now in this video. But before we do anything this morning, we are staying at the Kafkaz Riverside Resort and we're going to take the cable car up the mountain for a special breakfast to begin this day. This is a ski resort area, so we took the cable car up to the top of the mountain for amazing views, and this is where we're gonna have breakfast. You for breakfast? Yes, starving. All right. Especially, I've had a peak there. <laughs> Thank you, chef. Back home. Oh man, so we're stepping into this like mountain chalet. Wow, that's a huge breakfast. Traditional Azerbaijan breakfast. Wow, yeah, overlooking the mountain view, like a mountain wooden chalet, the fireplace is lit. Wow, that's a lot of food. So we're gonna sit down now because they're still cooking some of those hot dishes, but this is just luxurious and impressive display. Oh, and it's comfortable too. <laughs> you gotta be comfortable while you're eating. Sofa seating. Oh. This is the traditional way. Oh, wow. What a, what a, what a place. Ah, okay. These pillows? Yes. <laughs> Cushions? And there's such a huge variety of things on the table from cheeses and honeys and dips to vegetables and fruits and berries and pastries and meats. The national sweets. Mm. Oh, so sweet and juicy. Oh man. The raspberries are amazing. Oh yeah, this one you can see all the different flaky layers and yet it's bready at the same time. Mm. Mm hmm. That's like a a caraway, like a caraway seed flavor. So three different egg dishes are going on the fire. The eggs with herbs, gonna be eggs with tomatoes, and then looks like straight fried eggs and butter. Oh man, and always, always tea throughout the day for breakfast. Oh, fresh tea with thyme in it. it. Gives it that herbal touch. Okay, and we're beginning with the eggs. We're starting with the herbal eggs, but that is quite an impressive egg station. Start with the herb eggs, and then after that, the, the tomato eggs and the fried eggs. So it's a combination of fresh herbs, coriander and yeah. herbs uh, all onions. scrambled with, with eggs. Oh man, it smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. 
so good. It's like the egg is just uh, holding the herbs together because it's so packed full of herbs. Herbs are so fresh and green, not overcooked, vibrant. Yeah, the green onions, the, the coriander in there. Oh, it's so good. So like mountain fresh. We've got some of the basil, some dill, some coriander here. <clears throat> Mm. Oh man, I love the fresh herbs, all the fresh vegetables. Maybe an apricot real fast. The one here, this one is especially good. That, oh, apricot. <clears throat> Everything is just vibrant and fresh and like, tastes like it's from the mountain. Okay, and then we also have, moving on to some other dishes like the, the cream and honey. This combination, this award-winning combination. Mm. Yeah, it's so good. Oh man, the richness of the cream, the sweetness of the honey. An impressive breakfast. And there's still more to come. Time for the eggs. Okay, so it's got to be with this type of fluffy bread. Called tandir. Tandir? Yes. Oh, so it's cooked in the tandir, this bread? Tandir. Okay, really fluffy on the inside and then really kind of like, um, like chewy on the outside. Tomato egg. Pamidor yumotra. This is my favorite Azerbaijani breakfast dish. The tomato and egg, what I've been waiting for. Cooked over the fire. Mmm. I love that tomato, the chunky, saucy, tart and salty. Mm. And just wrapped up with the eggs. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, what a just breakfast festival this has been. A celebration. Oh, this is the ultimate breakfast party. And there's still more coming. Uh, she's making some some more things, flat, flattening out some bread. Butter bread. And Butter bread. Making uh, kutabs. Oh, kutabs. And cooking it over the fire as well, over the fireplace. Nice. Final breakfast dish. Final dish for breakfast, this is the kotab with the, the herbs and the cheese just wrapped up. That's thick and heavy. Mm. Oh man, this one is so good. All of those herbs. Oh, and what a, again, a breakfast celebration. This was a festival in the morning. Choksaval. 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 Thank you Have a nice day. Thank you very much. It's a good thing we have a hike today coming up. So we're going to drive to the mountains and we'll be taking a two hour hike before our next meal in the village of the mountains. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Amazing, amazing meal. Amazing experience. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Where are we at, Nan? We are in Ismaili. That's a region of? That's the region. That's one of the regions of Azerbaijan. And we're going up to Darakand. And Darakand is a small village up the mountain. We're going to hike for about two hours. And there, the population of Darakand is only 28 people. It has only eight families residing there with eight houses. And we're going to have some delicious pip dolma there. Let's go and see. So it was about an hour drive from where we had breakfast and we are now starting to hike up the mountain. This village is only accessible by foot or by horse. 
no cars available. We're just gonna go straight up the side of the mountain, a two hour hike until we arrive in the amazing village. And we're gonna do some cooking and some eating so there will be food at the end of the trail. But it's a good thing we had a huge breakfast for some energy on this hike. We actually need to hike. <laughs> Oh man, and conveniently, if you need some energy along the way, blackberries, wild blackberries growing all over. Oh, they're sour, sweet, delicious. More and more beautiful views of the mountains, meadows, flowers, berries, peaceful nature, pure. Beautiful place. Our first glimpse That's of the village, good. but it's still probably over an hour away. Yep. Oh, that was a gorgeous hike. We're making our final ascent to the village overlooking the mountains. The natural beauty is just spectacular and we have definitely worked up an appetite. On a horse? Into the village on a horse? On top of the horse. Okay, let's do it. You want to do it? Sure. Get on. Okay. Okay. What a way to, to arrive, the grand entrance. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's so lush back here. Fruits, vegetables, gardens. Whoa. So incredibly beautiful. Everything made from stone. Okay, <laughs> welcome to the village. Beautiful. So we've been welcomed into the house. It's absolutely beautiful on the side of the mountain. Look at the view, out the window. This is the Forti? Techelioto. Techelioto. Like thyme, right? Thyme? Fresh mountain thyme that they've dried, wild, and that they're gonna put in the tea here. Gotta have tea as soon as we arrive. Oh, I love the culture and a beautiful family. So we're going to start with a cup of regular black tea before as the, the time, the mountain time is still steeping. Yeah, it tastes extra good in the mountains. A cup of tea, extra good. With that cold, cool, fresh breeze coming off the mountains. Oh, nice, the sour cherry. Mmm. Oh, chok so well, chok so well. Okay, I might have to add a sour cherry to mine as well. And you can put this directly into your tea. It gives it a little bit of sweet and sourness. Oh, gives it a sour sweetness, fruitiness. Oh, chok so well. Chok so well. And now next up for that wild mountain thyme, which they dry here. It's so soothing. 
Oh, it's so good. Oh man, it's so vibrant. Ah. The amazing welcome, and now Auntie is going to get started on the piptoma, which is one of the main dishes that we'll be eating, which is gonna be beef with uh, rice and onions mixed with spices and then wrapped in a certain local leaf from the hornbeam tree. I mean, that's gonna be the main dish of the lunch. So she's gonna show us the entire process, how to prepare it, starting with chopping, hand chopping the beef. whacking it, hacking it with a knife. You can start to see that just start to break down the fibers of the meat and it start to mince and chop and like, like that jelly-ish texture coming out of the beef as she just continually chops it. Oh, it's beautiful, hand chopped meat. Just gonna come sit with her and she is just so incredibly hardworking. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, I'll take a turn. Yes, let me take a turn on this. Oh, that's hard work. Has some resistance in just breaking down that meat fiber. How am I, how am I doing? Correct? <laughs> it takes a lot of muscle to just continually pound this chop this, break down all the fibers of the beef. And yet it's therapeutic and like kind of relaxing all at the same time. Fold it over, is it okay? <laughs> Hope it's okay. You can see it's, it's starting to take on a minced, a minced texture. It's quite a forearm workout though. She's gonna have very strong forearms. Yes. <laughs> but, but it's, I mean, it's just amazing to see this process and this family who are just, they, they grow, they produce, they make everything by hand. They're just humble, hardworking, and just living so naturally. Oh, I'm letting... Auntie, take it back over. She is the true expert. I have a, a sore forearm already, just after doing it a few times. <laughs> when the moment is right, she just immediately grabs one onion, slices, hacks that directly into the minced meat. You can see the juices coming out of that onion. Rice. <laughs> ah, the rice is being chopped too. Yeah. And the rice has been soaked in water, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why it's just such a little bit of rice. It's just a very small ratio of rice compared to meat, uh, which has been soaking, so it already is taking on a little bit of a, a milky uh, texture to it. These are hornbeam leaves. They kind of look like the pickled grape leaves, but totally different. And these have been preserved. So she's just kind of um, pulling them apart. And that's what's going to be, the meat mixture is going to be wrapped within them. A little sprinkle of turmeric. Wind. 
and a little sprinkle of pepper goes in. You can tell she has so much experience, but she grabs a handful of the meat mixture, rolls it up in her palm into kind of like meat torpedo shape, grabs one of the leaves, wraps it around. The meat like squeezes out on either sides. Um, so it's not even fully wrapped. It's just the leaf around it. And then that goes into the pot where it's going to cook. That's gonna cook, actually simmer for an entire hour. All of those juices are gonna melt together and come together. Uh, but luckily, Auntie has already prepared a fresh pot for us that we're gonna eat immediately. So we are hungry, we're ready to start eating it. Actually, before we start eating it though, we're gonna have another dish that she prepared, a rice pilaf. Oh, rice. And is this uh, a type of pilaf or just? Yes, just is Dushamet, pilaf. The oh, side, there's the something. Meat. Oh, okay, okay. Meat is under the rice. Oh, I see. Okay. <coughs> oh, so they're like. Most of the times, the rice is cooked separately. Yeah. And the meat is cooked separately. Oh, so there's here. meat underneath here. Yes. Oh, chicken. And that rice is so fragrant, so fluffy. Oh, oh, oh man. We're gonna start with the, the pilaf before then the, the pip doma is ready. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no? No. No? Waiting for the, the doma? Yes. <laughs> yes, he's waiting for the doma. Doma, yes. <laughs> yeah, doma, yes. And then on the bottom, this came from the bottom. Whoa. Whoa, it's kind of hard. What is it? I thought this it was potato. Dough. <clears throat> dough. It's a dough. Oh, it's a dough that just absorbs it, all the juices? It absorbs the juices? all the juices, ah. all the butter, all the... Um, and it prevents the rice okay. and the chicken from burning. Ah, at the bottom. Okay. Yes. Let's go. Mm. Mm. It's just like infused. The rice is just completely infused with the chicken. Oh, so fluffy and aromatic. Not, not spicy, but just like warming and fluffy. Yeah, for my next bite, I gotta try that crispy dough at the bottom that just absorbs all of the chicken fat and butter from the cooking process. Oh, it's so crispy. Oh, yeah. You can feel the butteriness of it. The, mm, crispy, and then it crumbles in your mouth like a pastry. Mm. So warming. We've got fresh vegetables, which they grow themselves right here. The purple basil, peppers, uh, cucumbers, tomatoes. Mm. Oh, that pepper is so sweet. So juicy and sweet. Some of that basil, some of that tomato. Oh. Oh, their basil is amazing. Mountain basil. Fresh off the bush. Oh, it's so vibrant. Mm. 
Chokes over, and we're drinking a juice. It's not sour cherry, but it looks like a cherry, but it's it's a, some type of a sour some fruit. Berry. Some berry. Some berry. In mm. Azerbaijan, it's called zogal. 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 Oh, it's good. Tastes fruity, sour, and sweet. Wow. Next course, this is the main event though, the peep dolma, which we saw the entire process of them being prepared, chopping that beef, the rice and onions in there, and then wrap, oh, thank you, Adnan. Then, um, yeah, wrapped in those horn beam leaves. Oh, they're like little bite-sized torpedoes of meat and juice. And then when they, they cook, they just release all of that brothy juiciness, uh, the meat juice, coming out of them. And do we eat that with yogurt too? Yes. Do we eat that with yogurt? On the side. Thank you. You can just dip in it. Oh, to mop up the meat juice. Yes. Wow. Okay. I mean, this is really what we made that hike for. This is the dish right here <laughs> and that entire process. Oh, I can't wait. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's just so fresh tasting. That hand chopped beef. So it has this beautiful like crumbly texture. The onions, like a very light ratio of rice. So mm -hmm. it's mainly like meaty, like little sausages. The leaf is not, not that like distinguishable. It just sort of melts into the meat kind of holds it together. They're so juicy. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Mm. Yes, you gotta. <laughs> oh man. And so would this be something that they, they would eat on a regular basis or on a special yeah. occasion? Mm. On a, is this something you come here to eat whenever you, yes. you come here? But this is one of their signature dishes in the culture here yes. in the mountains. This is something that they there, make. There's pip dolma in different parts of Azerbaijan, but the way they make it, it's really, really specific to them. Unique. And I love, it's unique, and I love coming here just for this. That's worth it. That's worth it. <laughs> and with that yogurt, to give it like a contrast of flavor texture. With some of that basil. Oh, that basil. Oh, and a pepper. Mm. Oh man, this is so good. Again, it's a warm and hearty mountain village cooking by this amazing family. Tomato basil combo. And one final tea to finish off this incredible meal. Amazing hospitality, beautiful place before we hike back down. Oh, that mountain time. Micah. Micah. Yeah, and your Mirza. Mirza. Kalam. Kalam. Bye-bye.
We are starting the trail back to the main road, but what just an unbelievable experience this was. A magically, unprecedentedly beautiful place. And I wanna say a huge thank you to the amazing family for hosting us, and also to uh, my friend Adnan and our entire crew that joined us uh, from Rey Azerbaijan for arranging this and for setting everything up. Uh, wouldn't have been possible without them. And also, if you haven't already watched more of this Azerbaijani food videos series, uh, be sure you check out more videos. We're traveling around Azerbaijan, eating some amazing food, traditional food, meeting amazing people. And I'll have the videos in the description box below that you can check out. And I wanna say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from the mountains of Azerbaijan, and I will see you on the next video.